Hey everybody, welcome to this guide on how to install Arch HUD and uh, oh, playing with the settings, just basically the basics of it. So we're going to go ahead and start with downloading Arch HUD. So I have a link in the description as well as a pinned comment in the comments, uh, the direct page to Arch HUD. So go ahead and grab it there. Uh, so we're going to scroll down. We're going to go to the Arch HUD directly here. And there it is, and we can open this up. Now, I have 7-Zip. You do not need uh, any third-party programs to uh, unzip it because it's a regular zip file. Uh, Windows has it. It'll just open in Explorer. It'll look, look a little different, obviously. We're going to go to our Steam. Now, I'm using a Steam uh, instance of this game. Uh, it doesn't matter. Wherever you install this game, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's going to be the same location. Just the install folders will be a bit different. So we're going to right-click in Steam, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files just to make it easier and um, basically Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Dual Universe. Uh, for you guys, it might be under Program Files, Dual Universe, or Nova Quark. I don't know where the regular install is, but uh, the manual also tells you that. Um, so we're going to go to Data Folder. Then we're going to go to Lua. Then we're going to go to Auto Config. And then we're going to go to Custom. And then we're going to go ahead and drag the four, three files and one folder into there. And that is literally it. You can close those down. You can pretend that's it. Because that is literally all you have to do out of game. Now we're in the game. We're just going to literally go up to this. And we're going to right click this. We're going to go to advance. And you, now you're doing it to your cockpit, by the way. Just want to let you know. Not the construct, but the cockpit itself. We're going to go to advance. Uh, update auto. Uh, update custom auto config list. So this way you don't have to actually exit the game and reload it. And then we're going to go back to advance and we're going to go to run the config here. Now the version you want to pick is 2.003. Uh, the 0 0.003 is related to, I think, hoverboards or something like that. Something out of my style. Um, I think one you put in one device and another in another device. We're just literally picking the one that says 2.003 and going from there. And you know you've installed it correctly. Oh, actually, one more thing you want to do. Right click. Go to advanced, go to the control scheme. If you're a person like me who uses keyboard and mouse direct or keyboard, mouse, virtual joystick, you must pick keyboard for now. Inside the settings, you can change that. So, um, and I'm going to show you that actually right now so you know about the variables. So you can uh, go back to advanced here and you can edit the Lua parameters here. And you can go ahead and edit and turn on, off all these different settings. But you can also do quite a few settings within the, the thing as well. But this is your, 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 your master list of setting changes that you can do, which is really cool. And something eventually I need to go through and learn myself. But anyways, now when we get in, we don't have a data bank installed. But I want to make sure everything I did was correct. So it does give you a warning. You can use it without a data bank, but it will not store information. So for example, I can't put a custom waypoint, things like that in there, but I can definitely tell now that it is installed correctly. So if we hit shift left click, it frees up uh, my mouse cursor here and you can actually view settings. So I hit that, hit left mouse button again, and you can look at the different settings. You can enable, turn off, you can see, view handle settings. You know, you can basically do a lot of different things, which is really cool. So. Um, and then you can hit uh, shift again, I believe, or I guess, yeah, there you go. And then you're back to normal here. And then, uh, let's get out of the ship here. There you go. And any settings you, you, you change, you get in and then get out. It does actually save, I believe, into the data bank that style. So if you've never seen a data bank, you can craft them pretty easy. Uh, so type in data here and, uh, data bank XS. So it just requires some of the mixed alloy here, uh, aluminium and pure iron. It also requires more aluminium and pure iron. And then you got the carbon substrate stuff, carbon, hydrogen. Like I said, really easy recipe though. It's You just need one of each. You can make them. You don't need a schematic if you're doing it in your inventory. I already have one to go. So let's go into build mode and let's open our inventory. We'll double click the, uh, the bank here. And just place it somewhere on your ship here. I'm just going to place mine right there. Awesome. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the link tool. We're going to click the co cockpit here and we're going to click the data bank and we've just linked the two. And this is the really cool thing. So we're going to go back here. We're going to go into our ship. And it might cry that we don't have it, which is fine. Watch this. That's because we have to rerun the config, which I forgot, by the way. <laughs> so we're going to go uh, advance again. We're going to rerun the config here. It might say it anyways one more time when we go into it because you got to go in and out to kind of save it to the data bank. 
but we'll see if it's good now. Okay, loaded uh, loaded save variables. There you go. So if we get out now, if you hit enter here, go to the Lua channel, it'll actually tell you save variables in the data core. And it tells you all this other information there as well, which is very useful just to keep an eye on stuff. So let's say I want to go to my plot. I have a waypoint actually saved to it, but uh, let's go, you know, let's go there for fun. We'll, we'll give this a try. So I'm going to right click this again, set destination. We're going to go down here, copy the coordinates, close this, and we're going to make sure you're in the Lua channel. It has to be in the Lua uh, channel. We're going to go add uh, location, and then we're going to call it home. I'm going to just go, you know, and then I'm going to just paste the coordinates. So control V for those who don't know how to do that. We're going to hit enter. And there you go, location saved as home. And literally what we can do here, this is the cool part of it. We can go and uh, I guess we hit, sh oh, sorry, I gotta get out of that, that window. So we're gonna hit shift and the left click again. And you can engage the autopilot through here. Now I've only done it through here. I know you can also load it through there. There's other keys to do it. I've never really done it that way. So I'm just gonna test it out quickly here. So I'm just gonna click it here. And I'm not touching anything. I'm literally my right now. My hands are on my head, like literally they're resting. My fingers are interlocked and it's doing everything on its own. Now it wants to throttle up and disengage. It might make me do it. I think I think it does. Yeah. Uh, break engage. Uh, so let's unbreak it here. Does it start on its own? Yeah, it's proceeding to waypoint. So I'm not sure if I have to do this. Oh. I think it's doing it on its own. It might have actually been drifting up to the 31st, I think. Yeah. So you can you can throttle here. And as far as I know, like if I move it, it'll go back to wherever. Yeah, you see it you see it wants to go to that green, so it's auto correcting for that. So we're just going to leave it alone. Like I said, I'm very new to this. I literally only played with this today, but I noticed there wasn't like a brand new install guide for this. And I thought, well, hey, this is a good opportunity to help people like me to do a basic install. Whether or not, you know, I'm teaching you how to do autopilot correctly, that's another thing. There's a huge guide for it. Check the comments of this video. If people have suggestions or, you know, useful commands, things like that, definitely, you know, suggest them. But as far as I know, this should actually take us to our location automatically. You can see at the top left there, it says, uh, well, we can hit tab here. And you can see here, 12 seconds to go. And once it does that, it's gonna start its next uh, procedure as far as I know. So once it hits that, that, that point, it's gonna, there you go. Break engaged, finalizing. And this is the scary thing it does. Now this, this, this threw me off at first because I'm used to landing, especially with atmosphere. I'm used to landing like a plane, like gliding down. But this actually comes down as a vertical lander. <laughs> so it does throw you off a wee bit, which is crazy. Now, I can literally do the exact same thing as you're seeing right here. And I can go to the moon just like that. I'm not kidding you. But how amazing is this? I'm not, like I said, I haven't touched a key. Well, I've touched a mouse and hit tab, obviously. But, you know, I'm in tab mode. I can't control anything in here. But I just wanted to show you, like, how amazing is this? Boom. Isn't that insane? And there you go. Let's get out tab mode. And I can hit F. And there you go. I'm on my bloody little piece of land here. Just like that. Isn't that... Okay, so I did a qu quick cut there. Um, so, basically, I played around with this. And it, it works well. It, it does work well. Um, and some things you have to note, though. Like, if you're going to autopilot to, say, the moon over there... Uh, more than likely you'll have a line of sight error. It'll even, you know, message, like, you know, yell at you, probably stop the ship, everything like that. So it's pretty safety, but it will get a little annoyed. You can set, like, a, a waypoint, I guess, in space over there to over there, I guess. I think you can do them in threes like that. I just don't know how to do that yet. Like I said, this is mostly a, a guide on the very basics and how to install it. Um, uh, but there's, there's a lot you can learn. If you like the old braking system, which... I probably would recommend get used to the new braking system. Um, you can go down here and disable brake toggle here. And then that way brakes are in default mode. That The only thing is you probably would be better off learning to do it this way because it helps you so much more. Like when you're, if you're manually flying and you're going into a re-entry soon or whatever and you're slowing down, I mean, just hitting control and you're, you know, that's it. Like you're, you're good. You don't have to sit there holding it down the whole time 
you sit back, stretch, things like that. That's amazing. Um, obviously, when you do the mouse button here, um, you can go up here. You can go and click anything you want here. I actually don't even think shift is about it. It's just left mouse button, by the way. So I said shift left mouse button, I believe. I think it's just mouse button. Literally uh, opens up the UI at this point. Um, but uh, there's so much to learn. So many things you can do with this. Uh, Alt 3 is great. Um, so for example, right now I'm running at 72 FPS, uh, 75 FPS actually. It looks like it's holding there roughly. So if I use this UI, I'm down to uh, 60 FPS, uh, 63 right now. Oh, drop down a bit, but that could be the game. It does that sometimes. So I probably am losing about 10 FPS right now. So that's, that's something interesting to keep in mind that you might want to consider, um, you know, like in your crowded area, like the market, and you don't actually need the whole UI. You can just easily hit Alt-3 and turn it on and off. And um, yeah, and I guess it would probably save it because it's all variable based. Let's see if it did save that information. No, I guess that, you know, doesn't have a save on it. Not that you really need it anyways, but uh, yeah, it's really good. It's a really good HUD. I'm going to learn so much more. I'll probably make another update video, you know, months down the road or whatever, if I get to it and I'll be like, this is what you can do. This is exactly how you do it. One, two, three. But at least this gets you into the door. You know, use the comments, you know, make suggestions. Uh, maybe if you have tips or advice, you know, feel free to share them. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. And please consider subscribing, commenting, liking. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.